Welcome back. We have Lauren Tepper with us uh, from Hometown News. I don't know why I'm reading that. I know exactly what, what's going on, but there he is. You've never been on this set before. I have never been on this set. I've been on the other set all the time. Yeah, what do you We're, think of this side of the universe? It's much better. You know, we, we, we <laughs> our home office is in Harrison, but we, we maintain an office here. And a, a lot of people that like our, our Judy that does our office managing over in Harrison has never been in this building. And the other and thing is people don't realize that we have the capabilities to do, to shoot and film and do shows here in Mountain Home. And so we, it's kind of a, they, you do this show, but you know, most of our other shows are filmed at Harrison. So they, they don't mm -hmm. realize that mm -hmm. we, we probably underutilize this facility well, and underutilize so. Gill's talents. I mm. think so too, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do think that. The problem is you have to get them in this car to actually drive towards Boone County instead of leaving mm -hmm. them here in Baxter County to, mm -hmm. to get them to, to utilize his skills, right? Wherever you're, you're going with it, that's <laughs> uh, wherever. <laughs> You so to you're here, here to tell us about an announcement that we're, we're, we've put together, or not actually put together. It's one of those things where we have done local news before, mm -hmm. uh, and when we're talking about news, it's half hour blocks of news, and we do updates. We do little one minute, uh, half an hour, or half, half a minute update, yeah, 30, 30 second, second yes. spots now. And those are fairly easy to do. There's not a lot of production, but when you're talking about a daily news program, uh, you've got to have somebody full time to do it. And it has to be, uh, especially in a small town, you just can't rip and read, like off the newspaper, rip and read. That's yes, what it used to. Rip and read. Yeah, that's what a lot of newspapers would do back in the day. They would, they or TV stations, they would have a service like uh, AP. Right. And they just rip oh, it off and, and they read it yes. with everybody. It's and, not like that now, is it? Uh, no, you get most of your news uh, either through uh, internet, Facebook, or I mean those kind of right. that kind of news. And so we had a little talk and we decided what could we do to, to, you know, offer some new style of, or form of news. And there's, there's so many things going on with social media trending and stuff that we felt like that we could utilize that resource to help, or that's just one facet, right. to help us uh, gain news other than getting uh, uh, police reports and, and stuff like that. So we, we've come up with a pretty good format for a half hour news program that it, that's not so much cookie cutter, but it's more customized and tailored for local community where we try to give more local community, community news. And, and so that's our plan and our goal. Like I said, we've done it before. Um, we used a gentleman over in Harrison and myself and Judy did it, uh, Bill Boswell. But like I said, it was a little bit different. We got, we got to a point where it became is he, you know, rip and read, and we didn't, we don't want to be that way. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for the last probably three weeks, and we're launching this on August sixth, Monday, August sixth. Mm -hmm. We've been putting together a format and a and a game plan of what we want to do, what we want to incorporate, how we want to incorporate it, and and not exclude the Mountain <coughs> Home region or the Twin Lake. And, and that's Absolutely. been one of our downfalls. To, to, What's well, a hurdle? Right, for us yeah. to, to have to do that. Um, and so now we've we've met with some people, we've talked to some people on the phone. Gil's done some legwork uh, to hopefully we can overcome that obstacle so that we can include both the Twin Lakes area as well as uh, the Harrison market. And you know, people don't realize how big of a market that we that we're really on. I mean, mm -hmm. if you, if you're by antenna, you can pick us up in a lot. A lot further than we've ever we could ever think of. We've talked about people in the Mountain View picking us up with a antenna. People in West Plains picking us up with an antenna. Mm -hmm. But when we're talking about cable markets, we're talking about Salem. You, know, you just keep mm -hmm. coming west and all the way to Harrison, and we're on every market. And mm -hmm. you start going into smaller mm -hmm. markets as well. And so we've been on the phone trying to utilize that and and getting the information and having a format that would include um, as much local information as we can you know we there are some national stories that impact obviously us but we want to focus on the the community and the local community and have some fun with some things that we're going to do so it'll be like a new show but it'll focus primarily on local news mm -hmm. will it be one show for mountain home and one for harrison no, it'll be the same one it'll be the same, be same one. but it'll be a dedicated segments for the Harrison market and another segment dedicated for the. We're, we're not going. We're not going to exclude anyone right. that's in our 
viewing area. If Beautiful. someone in Calico Rock has something they want to tell us about, they can easily contact right. us through some kind of social network. You know, and, uh, of course we we want to build a situation where there's we have plenty of friends. We want you want to be our friend, of course, and you well, can tell us course. what's going on at the hospital in your department. Oh, what's going on in the life of Karen McKay? She, well, that would be a, 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 a two-hour <laughs> show by itself, yes. I would think. Okay. In, well, in our yeah. format is, is that, you know, we, we pride ourselves that we are a local TV station. We, we pride ourselves in being part of the community and, and taking and, and getting the message out that we believe in our communities, we believe in the area and we want to support that. Just like this show is dedicated to, you know, to, to reaching out to the community. We want to do the same type of format, but on a daily basis with our news program. That is exciting. It we're, really is. We're very exciting. It is. It's a, I'm excited about it, aren't you? I, I think, <laughs> if, you know, the, the, the <laughs> television has been around since the 1940s and they've tried to come up with formats Yes. And you know, some formats work, some don't, and they're almost identical. They choose, they, they, either it's the people or the way they lay it out. So you have to, you're always testing to see what's going to work and what's going to work, what's going to work. And the, the, the news format that you see anywhere is a good format. I mean, you get your news, mm -hmm. weather, and sports. But in a small town, it's so much covered that basically, guys like us have to have to look at something different to how we how we want to appeal to the audience right. and i think in a small small town uh, uh they get their national and, and regional news but it'd be nice okay. to know what grandma's doing or what happened at the ball yes. fields locally uh you know hospital information that could you know we try to cover Absolutely. some of that here but this is a different format we cover news here but it's a little different, so we're going to try to do that on a on a daily basis, and and try to try to bring bring you. We've got little segments, three minute segments, and you want to talk a little bit about that. We're going to do a little one. bit. Uh, we're going to do a weekly se uh, segments every day in the newscast. It's going to be a three minute format, which will be um, like an auto mechanic sections where I talk about taking care of your car, or taking care of your pets, or baby care, yeah. or, or plant or something oh, like that. Those wonderful. kinds of things. Something that's going to be relative relevant to your life, you know, senior citizens, you know, those type things, and um, that's what we're working on. We're also doing a little segment about uh, some hot topics that are going to be going on in the communities, and we, you know, there are Trend, what, tre what's trending. Trending. I mean, that's Trendy. that's the mm -hmm. what that's the new thing on social media is what's trending today, yes. you know, um, and so we're trying to do something similar to that. There are always issues. Uh, when you start talking about it in small communities, there's always something that's a hot button. So what's, uh, what's trending here in Mount Mount? What's trending? You're asking me? Yeah. Oh, what gosh. does everyone in this town talk about lately? Well, the heat right now. Well, there you go. You that's know, that's, that's kind of universal. That's trendy, isn't right. the, the weather? But uh, what else would be considered trendy? I'm probably Trending or trendy. maybe a, a topic of maybe political, in, local mm -hmm. political interest or... Something on the, on the city council that they're discussing, you know. Yeah, we take those topics and maybe, maybe throw out a question or two and say, what do you think about this? And then maybe give some answers, multiple choice like answers. Like do a poll? Yes. We could do a poll. Oh, we could that'd those be kind fun. Somewhere yeah. to get to some feedback about? from the community that can, you know, to let us know, you know, what they think or like or, or dislike or give them an opportunity or an avenue to voice uh, their opinions. Yeah. And and this format's not set in stone. I mean, right. we, can, we can change it for and and good formats change in that way too. If if someone has a uh, good idea that we follow up on it and it, it becomes real popular, then we'll keep that segment or keep that way of doing things. So something so that can make us unique of what we're doing. When's it starting? August sixth. August sixth. Are you going to be the news person? Yes. You are. So you'll be kind of the man about town, getting stories and. <laughs> Do I need to be out anymore, Dan? I'm sorry. <laughs> Do I need to be out anymore? No, he's out pretty much. Uh, so we're, yeah. we're we're trying to bring in um, other people to do s different things. I may do a segment. We may have uh, 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 freelance people that want that may want to go out and do segments. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a it's a it's a format that we'd love love people to be interested in. If you're in, if you'd like to talk to us about it, if if you'd like to, if you had a topic that you wanted to cover that we haven't thought about yet. Uh, of course, we try to cover general topics like, for instance, uh, uh, we, we just had somebody on here that talked about used uh, clothing and that kind of thing. Yes. We might want to talk about 
infant issues, uh, how to raise a child, or health or issues, health issues related to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Those are issues that we're trying to look at. You know, senior citizens, yes. you yep. know, we were talking about this just this week and a little bit about, you know, how the chambers change their focus here in Mountain Home. And, you know, senior citizens are a vile um, part of what they're trying to do here. And so, you know, that's, that's a hot topic here in, in Mountain Home. And, you know, what we're doing about, uh, you know, supporting them, what we're doing to recruit more senior citizens, what kind of activities we've got. Mm -hmm. Those are issues that, that are important to the people of Baxter mm -hmm. County, and we want to include them and, and offer that, uh, and offer them an avenue to be able to showcase those type of things going on. Yeah, we're planning to do this uh, five days a week, Monday mm -hmm. through Friday. We, we still like our weekends. Yeah, well, yeah. yes. <laughs> so don't have any news on the weekends? Is that? <laughs> we, we hold that over till hold Monday. Hold that over till Monday? Yeah, okay. The great thing about living in a small town, no news is really good news That's until it true. comes out Monday yeah. morning. Well, you know what I really like about this is that so many people are not from here and Talking about this living in this area. In the, yeah, they yeah. they are transplanted from other places, and um, you know you get the news from like Springfield or right. Little Rock, but it no one focuses on no what one we focuses do here, right? on what even on the weather and things like that. It's right. like you know, so I think that that's really good that people coming in will be able to have a sense of the community and what's what, going what on. What I here. would really like to see if someone you know uh, you know ran out at their place. They could call us and say, I've got two inches here, and maybe take yeah. a picture of it. That'd be the, that'd be the ultimate I'll, thing is, you know, yes. here's so-and-so out by his, by his uh, pig pen taking a picture of the rain in the background. I mean, you know, those kind of things are, are interesting hey. to people. I know this sounds a little hokey, but, no. but I would be interested <laughs> if I knew where that place was, who that person was, who his neighbors are. It's, it's more community-focused. Uh, yes. Yes, and, and then everyone turns on and goes, oh, there's my neighbor, John. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it how, rained at his house, but it, not at mine. And, and people really like that. I mean, it, yeah, it may do. sound a little like you said hokey, but it's really neat when you start focusing on that and getting, getting the involvement of the community because it's, uh, they like to be on TV. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of interesting people around Mountain Home. Mm -hmm. We do. You're interesting. Well, thank you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing is we also are... Uh, we have posted our live sporting events, we, something we pride ourselves on of being the only local TV show uh, in all of North Central Arkansas who is doing live high school sports. We have announced our high school uh, live football games for the game of the weeks and that's up on our uh, Facebook page at uh, Hometown TV and uh, we'll do four mountain home games this year and oh, uh, we've been very excited and uh, we also been, we're doing Yellville, Salem. Um, Green uh, Green Forest. We've got uh, we open up week one. Rogers Heritage will be uh, right here at Bomber Stadium taking on the uh, the Bombers, and we'll be there having that game live. And we've got four games scheduled this year, so we're excited. And we are we have our basketball schedule done. We're just waiting to announce it to get some final approvals from mm -hmm. some coaches mm -hmm. and some other things that uh, that may have transpired to make us alter it a little bit. But yeah, we're ready to go and. Uh, so we're excited about that as well. Well, make sure and get a shot of the cheerleaders. I was a cheerleader. I have friends on no the- No kidding. Uh, I was, I know. No kidding. Go team. So get a shot it's of the B -O -M -B -E -R -S. cheerleaders. B-O-M-B-E-R-S. What? <laughs> M what did you say? B-O-M-B-E-R-S. Oh, go Bombers. Oh, oh okay. yes. It's like, I missed the first part. It's I like, I too. can't spell, but- He mumbles. Um, yeah, get a shot of the cheerleaders because okay. they're working really hard, I've heard. We I do that. We, we, do, do, we, we do that. We do a lot of that. We do a lot of uh, We try to incorporate a lot of the, the students and the, and the fans Excellent. that are going to be there. And we've got a lot of ideas of what to expand what we're able to do. And mm -hmm. uh, th this, we're very proud of the fact that we can do this live. And uh, it takes a lot of hard work of Gil and Ian and Dan. You know, I get up and do the play-by-play, -play, but those guys do all the work behind the scenes making yeah, it so we can make it work. He doesn't do much. Well, let's just be honest. It's Ian and Dan, and uh, Gil that does most of the work. He's just the, yeah. You're pushing it. Okay. You want to come next week? Yes, sir. Right. <laughs> well, that, that, uh, so that's what we we're our big that's announcement. Fun. So we're excited okay. about this. That is really exciting. August sixth. That's a Monday. Is that right? That's a Monday. Uh, uh, and that's what two time? weeks probably. It'll be six thirty um, p.m. Six thirty p.m. And then it'll be ten thirty, and then seven o'clock the next morning. Yeah. 6.30, 10.30, mm -hmm. 
and seven o'clock the next morning. Right. Great, so I can watch it before I go to work. That's right. Okay. You can be up to date. You'll be up in the to know. Date. I can go to work and say, hey, guess what I heard this morning? I'll be the first one to know it. You'll be in the mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Nice. And we want you to be one of our new stringers. New stringers. String, new stringers. Stringer. Yeah, okay. that means that you, you can gather news for us. And I, I told you before the show that I'm technologically, you know, impaired. Mm -hmm. And I the lingo and stuff that goes, so just tell me, what do you want me to do? Just, <laughs> just feed us info, okay, Feed lady? us info, okay. Take a picture I got of your that. dog there every now and then. All right. Send it to us. People do that all the time. Yes, I think that's fine. Well, Lauren, thanks a lot. Thanks, I appreciate We've it. We've got other guests on the show that are more important than you, so we're well, going to let you have your five minutes of fame over so, here and move right along. So get out. August oh. 6th, <laughs> premiering uh, Monday. Uh, first airing will be at 6.30 p.m., so take a look for that. That'll work. And uh, we want you to be in, involved. We'll be you know, giving you a lot of information on how you can do that throughout the months. So thanks, Lauren. Thanks. All right, up next, uh, we have, since you were, you were told how to pronounce these yes. names here. Vicki Kauf and Diana Erickson from Hill and Hollow Quilters. Right, and they're gonna be Hilt. showing us some, some vintage, handmade quilts that are not for sale, you, but you'll enjoy this. Stay I with will. us.